the first thing of the day, obviously, is PT. It's like 5.30 in the morning right now. The cadets are setting up while I'm relocking this building up and filming this little thing. I didn't show like my morning routine or anything because I literally go from dead asleep and alarm going off to at work in about 20 minutes. My morning routine consists of brushing my teeth, shaving with my eyes half open, throwing on clothes and getting in the car. Nothing crazy. I'm not going to film today's workout. One, because I think it's boring. Two, because it's running the stadium stairs and I have to do that too. So I'd rather just focus on doing that than filming a very shaky video in the dark. And three, because um, it's kind of cringy and this is not a high video. Being such a small building, this place has so many keys. It's like impossible to keep track of. So I'm in my office eating more food and I have class in like 20 minutes. Typically how I prepare for class is I go over the student's reading assignment. So how ROTC works is that there's a standardized list of lessons that I have to give. I don't build the lessons myself. Now I can edit the lessons a little bit to kind of fit the people in the class. Like if one class does better with videos, another class just does better with lectures. I have that freedom, but I have to teach them the actual material in the lesson itself. Typically what I do is I just go in, I read the student assignments, I look over the lesson plan the Army gives me. I make tweaks to that. Typically tweaks come in the form of changing the video that they want me to show to something more relevant that I know they'll like or replacing a part of a lecture with a video that explains it better than how the Army wanted me to do it. And it's not wrong for me to do that. We have that freedom. So before people get angry that I'm being lazy, I'm trying to do the best for my students. But then once I do that, I look over the slideshow that the Army gives me, make some tweaks to that, and then I present it in class. Now the interesting thing about teaching cadets is that I teach freshmen, so it's the most basic level stuff that you could possibly think of, at least in terms of Army stuff. But it's so basic that it's almost hard for me to explain certain things. So a lot of the questions they ask me is like, someone asking you, how do I raise my right arm? Because your response would be, you just do it. So I've had to be creative with teaching things that just come as second nature for myself, for someone who's been doing this for nine years now. And all my classes are in the mornings. I see a lot of just students who probably woke up five minutes ago and are still actively waiting for the caffeine to kick in. I was there once, I understand. They haven't adjusted to just being tired for the rest of their lives yet. Oh, but that day will come. Here's where I teach. We got our own little sand table. Real sand, by the way. You don't see that everywhere. In case you forget what the eight troop leading procedures are. This is where I stand when I'm teaching. This is where my cadets sit when I'm teaching. And this is our sponsored segment. That was a pretty cool transition, huh? Today's sponsor is once again, Aura. Aura helps keep your information safe by identifying data brokers that are exposing and selling your information and automatically submit opt-out requests on your behalf. This includes junk mail, it's filling up your inbox, telemarketing scammers, passwords, social security numbers, and that Nigerian Prince trying to get your bank login. Look, he's not sending you his inheritance. I'm sorry you had to find out this way. Now, all of these nefarious groups got your info because all that information has been bought and spread across the entire internet. And Aura scans the entire web, including the dark web, finding and helping remove your data from the people that are trying to exploit it. It also has plenty of other great features like a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and malware protection, which would have been nice when I was like 13. I downloaded one of those Skrillex songs that for some reason was like two gigs. That's what my mom gets for trusting me with the family computer. Let Aura do all the hard work of keeping you safe online. And if you sign up now, you'll get a two week free trial if you use my link. And you'll be shocked at all the stuff it finds that you just have floating around cyberspace for people to take advantage of. I used it for myself and recently found out that I have an unpaid parking ticket that now is sent over to a collection agency and now they're doing bad stuff to my credit report. But if they're watching this, I hope they know I'm not taking this sitting down, even though I am sitting down currently. So go to aura.com slash Justin Taylor. It's me, by the way. Or use the QR code on the screen for your 14 day free trial so you can see what information you have that's been leaked on the internet. Surprise, surprise, turns out that password you've had since you were 14 and still using your 30s ain't so secure anymore. But with Aura, you'll save time and money keeping your info safe. Again, that's aura.com slash Justin Justin Taylor, link in the description. So this thing I've been having to do recently is make these like short little cadet highlights for work, which is super easy, nothing to complain about. And it's like a fun little opportunity for me to one, kind of get some one-on-one -on -one time with cadets I wouldn't otherwise, and two, be a little creative with it. And like I said, they're super easy to crank out. Like this whole thing is the whole video. It's only like a minute and a half long. A minute 38 to be exact. But it was giving me terrible flashbacks 
of when the last time I was assigned to make videos for my unit because when I was overseas over in Romania during lockdown, my battalion commander made me make a 30 minute video of PSAs every single week. 30 new minutes of content every single week. That is very difficult, first of all. And because they were like informational PSAs with very little creative freedom in them, they weren't that good or entertaining. And we were required to play them uh, during meal times in the dining facility. And in like dining facilities overseas, you always have news from America playing or maybe a sports game or whatever else big is going on. During lockdown, that was like mostly the only time that we were able to just kind of like relax, watch TV and eat some food. And so I remember uh, whenever I would show up in the defect, I'd be carrying my little USB drive with the videos on it. And as I walked up to the TV, there was a literal audible groan across the entire battalion because they knew that instead of being able to watch ESPN for the, their 30 minute lunch, they were going to have to listen to me talk about how we should wash our hands and not use fitness trackers when we're running on base. And then sometimes they would just sneak up and yank the USB so they could watch TV. And then myself and the other guy that helped me make them would then get angry text as to why they weren't being played. Sometimes we would forget to play them, but again, the angry text would come, but we were willing to take those if it meant the guys could watch a football game or something. Now again, this is nothing like that but the initial assignment was starting to give me flashbacks. And at least with these, um, I don't have to force people to watch them. They only watch them if they want. 